My name is Mbisola Williams. Actually, I'm, I'm giving this testimony to the glory of God because I'll be an ungrateful child of God if I don't do it. Because by the grace of God, God has used daddy to be a source of blessing to my family. I'm not a member of this church, but I attend in fact, almost all the programs that you do here. And I recognize the anointing on the man of God. And so I killed into it. By the grace of God, when um, I brought my husband here, we actually came to see daddy through a colleague. We were in a kind of situation that, you know, he's very, very talented, very brilliant, and, you know, he was working with a bank, but it's almost as if the, he's not just where he's meant to be. And he was so frustrated about everything because it's just like somebody that is working like an elephant and eating like an ant. So through my colleague, you know, we arranged to come and see you know, daddy. And I remember that he asked us to do something very, very, if I might use the word, I would say something foolish, you know, to the world. Because when you hear one, what daddy said we should do, that my husband should go and do, it was funny. It, so some extent, it was even degrading. But it's just like Naaman, you know, that went to the, you know, that went to the prophet and the prophet said, go and bath yourself. You know, it's something like that. You know how you feel. But I told my husband, I said, this is a man of God. Go ahead and do what he asked you to do. And then we did it. And daddy told him, he said, daddy said he should go and scrape his head. He should bab gorima passing. No, nothing should be on his head. And he was so, you know, for a married man that you say that it's not been, you know, he used to keep, uh, keep afro. You understand? To now say, go and scrape everything. So that was what daddy said he should do. And he had to buy a cap. You know, to be covering in his head up and down. He was so humiliated, but I told him he should do it. Did the I man ask of God to bring the hair to this place. No, he did not bring the hair. Oh, he went to Babin Salon. Okay. Babin Salon to go and Daddy just said, just go and scrape your hair. And I kind of if you are in the spirit with Daddy, you will know why Daddy said you should go and bab the hair. Because that was the source of his problem at the end of the day when we prayed about it. So to cut the long story short, he went ahead and did what Daddy said he should do in that. He went to an unknown salon, just went to Bab. And so, we believe, it wasn't as if the miracle started immediately. We were still believing God. But he used to attend, all the, I don't think there's any program they hold there. When he's on leave and when he has opportunity, he used to come here to attend. Even me, I would say I'm unfaithful when it comes to attending program. He comes here almost every time and he sees daddy. To cut the long story short, that was where God started the miracle. How we traveled out of the country. How God, you know, was just moving him, connecting him with helpers. Even the person that was supposed to help initially, you know, pulled the help down. You understand? I started acting like a god. Daddy prayed for us. Three other people raised up as help, and they were telling him, don't worry. We will help you. Just come, come, come. I want to bless God. He's here in the United States of America now. He's there with a good job. We are even believing God. He has had many offers. You understand? I believe that God... What God has started will perfect. I just want to thank God. I also want to thank God how I opened my own school. It was just, you know, by divine intervention. It was still daddy that was praying for us, you know. I've been a teacher for a long time. And I believe God to have my own. I want to thank God because in July, my school opened and is growing. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Before mama we go. There is a way some people will keep Afro and the glory is off. But when you meet a prophet, behave as if you don't have your own mind. Am I speaking to somebody? There are lots of people they are meeting with prophets, they would begin to think their own sense as if I get sense. It was there and they apply faith. A lot of people are looking for microwave miracle. The way, when I saw that man, God described the man to me and everything. He was crying. As a matter of fact, at the time, he stopped going to church. The way he should. When God spoke to him, I believe it's not somebody that goes to churches. On coming to this place, God just mentioned the case and said, your problem is what you have been carrying. You will not carry your problem up and down. They are not saying him very well. That man carried the problem. But here it is. God saw the problem. 
The problem you carry is attached to your hair. So it is possible for somebody to keep big hair. Eh? And there is no brain inside. The brain is being reconverted in the realm of the spirit. And there is no glory. But God settled the glory of that man. Right now, that man traveled abroad. Less than, is it one month now? Less than one month. And he had already secured a job. Amen. Not just job. When you meet your prophets, your life will be perfect. So, Fanugata, come, invite people to this program. Something is happening. And God will set you in the name of Jesus.